Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all very much for being here this evening. Uh, as uh, my name is Abdel Karim, and I will be your chairman for this evening's debate. Um, we're about to witness the remake of the 2017 final. I don't know if you're aware. is proud to host uh, this um, event as uh, we have our friends from uh, Illyri. So I've come all the way from uh, La Défense. <laughs> Same thing. Same thing. To uh, <laughs> uh, our neighbors from uh, Inside. Uh, our friends will uh, defend the motion, we propose the motion. This house believes. The winner takes it all. Yeah. 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 Uh, I would like to congratulate both teams, obviously, for uh, reaching this quarterfinals. Yeah. 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 Um, as you may or may not know, this house, this venue has already uh, hosted a debate against both teams, and both uh, debates were wonderful, and I hope this, de this evening's debate will be just as good. Yeah. 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 Uh, to make sure that we have a great debate, we have a wonderful set of judges. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. We have uh, Camille Dubuc from Saclay. Yeah. Anaïs Vu from Assas. Yeah. Abdelalim Hanishi from uh, Superhero. Peter Barrett uh, from Paris 1 and uh, the GDP of the FDA. And, yeah. <laughs> and we have Anatole Chouard from Polytechnique. Yeah. Uh, I think that Chani Kautz deserves a... <laughs> ...organizing this debate and also being a wonderful timekeeper. Yeah. 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 Um, I'm sure you're all. Uh, huh? <laughs> you're allowed. To. I'm sure you're all uh, familiar with the, the rules of the FDA, but it is my duty to remind you all. Um, the this <laughs> the speeches will be six minutes long. The first and last minute will be protected time. After one minute, we will hear. That means that means that you can ask a few eyes. And uh, after five minutes we'll hear, that means you can stop raising your POIs. After six minutes we'll hear, that means that your debate, your, your speech has ended. And if you go on, we will hear. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you need to leave. Cool. Um, of course, uh, if you're enthusiastic and want to participate in this debate, which we encourage you to, you can agree with what has been said by saying Yeah! yeah. What am I here? <laughs> and if you disagree, you need to say Shame! <laughs> 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 of course we will. <laughs> uh, we have... <laughs> uh, we have two sides, one that will oppose the other uh, uh, are you guests? Uh, we have five speakers from each team, and the judges will uh, judge. Uh, <laughs> uh, have five criteria: arguments. That means the quality of your arguments, the form, engagement, teamwork, and the uh, jeune sais quoi we all love the start point. Yeah. 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 Uh, I guess that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, we uh, call to the floor uh, the Prime Minister for the Government, Benjamin. Mamma mia, here I go again. I would like to thank the French Reading Association for organizing tonight's debate. Yeah. On behalf of my entire team, we are once again truly honored and delighted to be here tonight. 
Dear Chairman, this house does believe the winner takes all. I am, however, um, I am, however, prone to sharing with you afterwards. <laughs> Honorable Chairman, please give me, give me, give me a victory <laughs> button before midnight. Yeah. 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 Lovely bad person, Shanika. Thanks to you, just one look and I can hear the ring. I will be on time. Dear opposition. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Not in the mood for fighting, are we? Oh, well, yeah. 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 if you'll not have for it, at least we, the government, really, really want to take it off. Yeah. 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 My team, wonderful government. Honey, 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 how you feel me? What a pleasure it's been once again working with you. Here, here, here. Here. Dear audience, I hope you will appreciate what we, both opposition, F and government, have been preparing. Here, here. Thank here, you all for coming. Here. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Money, money, money. Well, you know, <laughs> I love it. I am just a monopoly. And we, the government, are playing Monopoly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In my world, things are quite simple. In order to win, you need to take it all on every yeah, property. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get rid of anything, people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Madame la Maire and Hidalgo did talk to me about public <laughs> rental controls. Yeah, yeah. But I said, thank you, next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please not believe the winner takes it all. Yeah, 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 yeah. My government here, they are all experts. They all really, really want to win this game of Monopoly. <laughs> Don't make fun of them. <coughs> they're trying hard. So while they're breaking a sweat, wondering whether they should buy a hotel, let me tell you what we, the government, mean by the winner and by taxi. First of all, the definite article the, used before winner, indicates <laughs> that the winner exists in a given context. <laughs> this context may be that of a game, a contest, a site, a war, where something is at stake. <laughs> for example, you all were the winner of a cell from a seminal liquid. Nothing good. A cell from a seminal liquid, trying long and hard to fertilize the egg. Congrats, you made it. You took it all. You gain a whole life experience. Yeah. 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 The winner is that so yeah. In a debate, do you always win 5-0? Yeah. 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 No, but you take all You're the, here. the glory. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. The winner is then the person who is successful in this context, thanks to their ability, hard work, skills, luck, and sometimes cheat us. The winner can also be a group if people are competing together, like we are. However, since we are here talking about the winner singular, we will not talk about a context where there are multiple competing winners. Shapes? Yeah. Do you know who's the winner among soul pop artists? Hello? It's me. Of course! All I have to say, as Mr. Monopoly, is that although we can't say there's a monopoly in music, if I were an artist, I sure wouldn't want to release a single the same day as someone What's like her. No, thank you. As someone like her. Breaking records every time. I'm not gonna go easy on them, but others may try. Nevertheless, Adele already took it all. Yay! By the way, we understand takes it all as the popular saying, and thus we'll not discuss the literal meaning of take here. The winner Shame. is not selfishly grabbing everything around them. So, when we say the winner takes it all, we don't mean all that exists. Shame. Shame. For instance, Adele didn't take your car, your husband, and your life. Yeah. At least I hope she didn't. Yeah. Yeah. We mean all that is at stake in the context Shame. like yeah. the price. Yeah. Or if yeah. there's no material gain at stake, immaterial things such as glory and fame. Yeah. 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 Is this motion this house believes the winner takes all that is at stake? Yeah. 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 No, that's also interesting. It would be absurd yeah. to say yeah. that. Yeah. As a government, we need to be serious. So, as I was saying, the games are indeed not only the obvious prices, gold or cho chocolate medals, or the opportunity to write an inspired LinkedIn post. We'll talk about the examples later. Now, Mr. Monopoly is getting tired and 
Whoa, I see that one of the players taking out a second mortgage on their home. I need to go touch them. But before I go, let me introduce my daughter. Cheers. 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 Cheers! You will first hear from Rose. She will explain why the winner takes it all when it comes to all things material. Because one, they have the opportunity to do so. And two, winning is addictive. She knows a lot about it since yeah. she basically yeah. owns half of the streets on the board. Yeah. Two, a lovely girl. Then, Maria will talk to you about immaterial things. Why don't you make No, sure? thank you. She will explain that the winner takes it all when it comes to all things material. Because one, they represent the positive example, the positive norm. And two, all immaterial things, such as glory, honor, and so on, are taken by the winner. Yeah. Yeah. She's an expert, you know. Every time she plays Monopoly, she's just taking <coughs> jail. No, thank you. Watching the winner gloating. So sad. Here, 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 here. After that, Lucas will talk to you about taking it all in the long term. He will explain why the winner takes it all in the long term because they've always done so. One, in nature and biology. And two, by writing history. Jeez. By the way, I think this malicious boy rewrote the history of Monopoly. And by history, I mean boo. Here, here. Finally, I'll whip my ally, the bank. Remember, money, money, money. <laughs> we'll conclude this debate and explain why this house believes the winner takes it all. Because yes, this house does. As my government will explain in detail, in detail, the winner takes it all. Material things, immaterial things, and in history remains. Here. Whether it's comfortable or not, whether the winner is a good person or not, is not relevant here. Here, here. We believe it because that is what we see every day. And as Prime Minister telling you otherwise wouldn't be honest. Yeah, yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, winning gives you the monopoly on taking. Please accept this motion. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much, Mr. Prime Minister, for this reference-filled speech. I now call upon Josephine Nourissa, the Shadow Prime Minister. Yeah, yeah. Person. See, I'm having an issue here. I would love to take you on a date. But Shame. since Shame. I already have a boyfriend and I cannot take it all, here, here. I guess here, I have here. to skip my turn. Uh, here, here. here! Lovely timekeeper, <laughs> I'd like to have your undivided time. But I know you only give me six minutes. Here, here. Here. Wise member of the jury, you definitely win our love and admiration tonight. Hey, hey, hey. Dearest host from Central Supélec, thank you so much for having us, and hopefully we will meet at the summit. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Beloved opposition, winner or loser, I don't care, because you're the most beautiful prize to me. Hey, hey, hey. Dear government, you won the final in 2017. Let's see how it goes tonight. I must admit that I hope that history won't repeat, but in any case, yeah, yes. it's always a pleasure and an honor to debate with you, yeah, and yeah. you cannot take that away from us. Yeah, yeah. And to our dear and beautiful audience, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, yeah. Hello, hello everyone. Please sit down, get your things out. Is everyone ready to start taking notes? Hey, hey, I know, I know it's the last class of the day, everyone is tired, but I'll promise I'll make it worth your while. Here, here. Welcome to History 101. I'm Professor Josephine and I urge you to pay attention to this class. Here, there will be a pop quiz next week. Here. Before we get to that, I first have to break the Prime Minister presentation. Here. And I'm afraid I can give you a good one, dear PM, because your argument certainly didn't take it off. First, you say that we're a monopoly game. Yeah, very funny. I mean, really, but are we going to talk about something realistic at some point? Here, here. And now, let's 
go on the definition. Here, here. All. All means you know. Yeah. It means all. Everything, basically. Here, here. Here, here. Here, here. Here. The definition. European, I can see that you need to restate your definition. Here, and here. it's so weird because I thought that you wanted to take it all. Here, here. Yeah. Yeah. So now, please everyone start taking notes. This lecture will be divided into parts. The definition and the framework. Here, here. So please open your book to the introduction. Here, here. Part one, the definition. And let's get on with this history lesson. Here, here. Basically, the winner is the person or group who has outperformed everyone else. Here, here. Secondly, takes means to appropriate something and to declare it your own property. Here, here. Here, here. And finally, it all. In this case, it means everything. Here, here. No, sorry. He said the concept of all ambitious, unrealistic, and to an extent dangerous. Yeah. 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 Keep that in mind. That's a recurring topic in the chapter we'll cover this evening. Yeah. And this yeah. leads me to part two, the framework. His story has taught us that winning, be it a war, a game of Monopoly, or the FDA tournament, yeah. is never absolute. Here, yeah. 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 black or white. It has 50 shades of grey. Yeah. Yeah. More or less dark, but it is nuanced. Yeah. And I believe yeah. that yeah. three points must be clarified in order to understand these nuances. Here, here. Yeah. Firstly, yeah. in order to be a winner, you have to make some sacrifices. Yeah. This can be yeah. financial, personal, or time related. Yeah. It means yeah. that the win or the victory might take it all for a moment, but not the winner because they will never be able to get back those sacrifices. Yeah. 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 The motion uses the word take, which is different from when the word has. Yes. Can you explain how those sacrifices were to take at, all, at some point? You have to make yeah. some yeah. choices yeah. in order to be a winner. Here. Yeah. 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 You have yeah. to, let, to let apart some stuff and to take some other. Yeah. 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 Those sacrifices, you're letting them aside. Yeah. 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 From the word as because the winner seek to take it all without permission. Here, here. And this leads us to our third point. The winner takes without asking for permission because he feels entitled to. Here, and here. how it is presumptuous and far fetched to believe that all belongs to you. In here, other words, this is hubris here, or here. an excessive pride. Kinan, Pay attention, young here, man. Here, here, here. You cannot afford to be the only student in detention once again. <laughs> what you're scrubbing on your not there better not be the lyrics of your future rap carry, or worse, the lyrics of hot for a teacher like last time. <laughs> if you want to write about lyrics, make them ABBA. What can I say? Both must be obeyed. Yes. Here, here. Yes. Can you explain why everyone wants to win if it's not to take it all? Oh, sure. here, here, here. Here, here. What everyone wants. Yeah. 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 But in the end of the class tonight, you will submit an argument that you may say, answering the question, does the winner take it all? Yeah. But don't worry, if you pay attention to the next three chapters, the historical figure will narrate them and the answer will reveal itself. Here, here. Yeah. After me, Vexor Gitorix will present here, here. chapter one. You <laughs> Explaining that the fact that the winner always wants more proves that he never actually had it all. Yeah. And that yeah. yeah. thinking that you can own everything is vain and destined to fail. Here, here. Yeah. He be followed Shay. by John of Arc. Here, he introduced here. chapter 2, the sacrifices. Here. And demonstrate that in order to be a winner, you have to make some sacrifices. Here, here. Yeah. After that, Shay. chapter 3, the consequences. Yeah. Will be discussed by Edith Chia. Here, here. She will question the notion of winner and wonder who, how, and under which universal rules can someone be considered as a winner. Here, here. Once they are done, Kinan, it will be time for you to hand me your assignment. Here, here. And I expect, expect him to summarize this lecture. And okay, I don't condone corporal punishment, but I'll give you the permission to use this week on this government. Here, here. I want to talk about something we've gone through. It's not hurting me now, it's history. Here, here. I play all my cards and I can see the will to take insatiably, 
will drive the winner to insanity. Shame. Shame. Yes. Yeah. Her destiny. When there is no more ice to play, historical figures always convey. Yeah. Reality is lost to those who take it all, and so the winners tend to fall. Don't take it all, but take it easy. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Madam Professor, for your lesson. I now call upon Boris. Wonderful chairman. If we win, we don't, won't take anything from you tonight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Jury, we hope you will let us take it all tonight. <laughs> Lovely bell woman, Shanika. I prefer the sound of dice, but I will listen to your bell. <laughs> Friends from the government, our games are my favorite. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cute opposition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no need to be so passionate, as according to you, even if you lose, you'll still win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please let them keep their innocence. Yeah. Yeah. Cheerful yeah. audience, we <laughs> hope to take your love tonight. Yeah. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, good evening. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Rose and I will focus on how the winner, that's me, takes everything <laughs> material. Yeah. But first, since it's my turn to play, let me take a chance card. Oh, how lucky. Debunking the opposition. Yeah. 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 So you don't want to win tonight's debate? Shame! Oh, shame. 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 You think it's not that big a deal? Shame! shame. We'll give you a wish. Shame! shame. When takes it all is a saying. You mentioned the other song. Listen to it again! Shame. 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 shame! Making sacrifices doesn't apply here. It's not taking something. Shame! It's doing shame. something. Go to English 101 instead of shame. History 101. Shame. Shame. I'm gonna be the winner of this game. Shame. Just look Shame. at the board. It's Shame. mine, it's all mine. The streets, the railroads, the electric company, the waterworks, Shame. the money. It's mine, it's all mine. I'll Shame. take it all and I won't leave a dime. Everything, absolutely everything will be mine. <laughs> Mr. Monopoly, don't worry, I'll make you proud. No, thank you. <laughs> I will first show you that the winner is offered everything material. So they have the opportunity to take it all. Yeah. Yeah. Then I will show you why they take this opportunity and the stake everything material because they get hooked on winning and taking. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, when you win the monopoly, do you take all the money, all the hostels, all the houses? Yeah. 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 All the stake in the game. Yeah. 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 When you win, you get to take all it was at stake. As yeah. I say. Yeah. Everything that the eye can see, the trophy, the prize money. Yeah. 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 I'm pretty sure even you, the opposition, can agree that the winner gets the prize of the contest. I hope yeah. so. Yeah. But they get offered even more than meets the eye. For example, most of an athlete's income doesn't come from prizes, but from partnerships. Yeah. Yeah. They get offered once they win. In 2018, Usain Bolt made 30 times more money from endorsements than from winnings. Winning gets you perks laid out for you to take. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Winning changes your life. Yeah, yeah. Of course, the extent of the change depends on the extent of the game, but there is always a change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Winning results in winning even more because it makes it easier. Once you have won, you get the help you need to win again. A better starting spot, a car, a coach, a Yes? So, statistically, how often do you have? 100% of everything. Here, here. You have, when you win the game, you have 100% of what was at stake, what yeah, you yeah. And we know a bit about statistics. You're from NSA. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Maria will show you these winnings extend beyond concrete winnings to immaterial things. I take it all. And you let me. You can't stop me. And I don't blame you. Even I can't stop me. Yeah. I will now show you that winning is addictive. 
because you get to take it all. Yeah. Yeah. You get great riches and there are great consequences. Yeah. You get to have a better life. Who wouldn't take that if, you ha if they had the chance? No, thank you. Yeah. The winner can't just take a bit. They want to take it all. They have to take it all. Yeah. This behavior is natural. According to researchers at Harvard, winning gives you a dopamine rush. It's our brain's natural reward mechanism. Lucas will give you more details on the biology of winning. No, thank you. But this natural response to winning is why you want to keep on winning, to keep on taking more, to always take it more. It's addictive. That's why I do everything to win. I've read books, I've practiced for hours, I've memorized strategies. I know the games for every spot. There, with one house, with two houses, with three houses, with four houses, with a book. Tell them, thank you. And I read pages and pages and pages of math papers to know the yield of every spot. And pages and pages of psychology papers to understand my opponent's strategy. I know almost as much as Mr. Monopoly himself. No, thank you. And you know what? Monopoly does have a lot in common with poker. It's addictive. Once you win, you want to keep on winning. Just look at Jeff Bezos. Just look at Elon Musk. Just look at Mark Zuckerberg. Just look at all those billionaires still scrambling to have even more. Always taking it all. Even if they already have enough to last them till the end. Till the extinction of the human race. <coughs> which they keep making closer. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And that's why they are taking it all. Yeah, 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 yeah. The winner gets the world. The loser gets to watch them yeah, take it all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Would you rather be? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've shown you that the winner gets to and wants to take everything material. Maria will take it from here. Well, she won't really take anything. She's quite a loser. She's stuck in jail. She will show you that the winner also takes everything immaterial from her. Because they set the norm. And all that the loser has left was never up for grabs. Winning gives you the monopoly on taking. I implore you to accept this motion. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for your speech. I now call upon Pierre-Louis Versagetori. that you are certainly stronger than Asterix. Yeah. Yeah. Precise timekeepers. Yeah. Ring the bell when it be time to reconquer the gold. Yeah. Yeah. Honorable Jurex, please be as wise as Panoramix. Yeah. Yeah. Dear Goronix, let's debate <laughs> like we are gold. I mean, you can try. Yeah. 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 Hello, Pazishex. Let's roll on this motion like Grobelix. Now, the OGX, if you are really goals, I want to hear, hear you in the whole room. Partout à 10. Kinan, you don't know me? Well, Kinan, your audience, open your books. Chapter 1, Hubris. It yeah. will talk about me, Versingetorix, and Magol. I mean, no, 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 I mean, Igor. Shame. Yeah. 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 So, why is the greatest gold chip in history speaking to you from a storybook? Well, as a winner that didn't take it all, I cannot control it. Sorry. So, you yeah. wait for it, and say it, it is here. Dear government, it is time for your rebuttal. Yeah. Yeah. First, dear government, 
Just to clarify one thing, all doesn't mean all at its stake. No, no, no. Mamma mia, as you said. Yeah. 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 Everything as our teacher said. Yeah. 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 Study your class. Yeah. Yeah. Secondly, the opposition, you are playing a funny game. <laughs> but in Monopoly, you never take all the plateau. Because yeah. there is always yeah. someone who is burdening you with the station, Gare de Montparnasse, etc. etc. Yeah. 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 Thirdly, dear Rose, when it is addictive, that's exactly what my point. Yeah. 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 If you want more, I'm sorry to say, it means that you didn't take it all. Yeah. 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 No, thank you. Hubris. Thank you for saying my point. Yeah. Yeah. Before me, the hottest. Professor of history here yeah. 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 showed you that victory takes it all, but not the winner because of their sacrifices. Yeah. 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 She also pointed out the notion of hubris and excessive self confidence. Yeah. 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 It is on this hubris that I will develop my arguments in two points. Yeah. Firstly, the hubris caused by winning pushes you to always want more. Yeah. So, yeah. you yeah. never yeah. take it all. Yeah. 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 The same hubris makes you think that you can take it all. Yeah. Yeah. Realistically, you cannot. Yeah. 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 My first point. Yeah. Hubris caused by winning pushes you to always want more. No, thank you. Yeah. Once again, what is hubris? And wait, don't you think that hubris is a little too Roman? I prefer when it's Celtic. I will call it hubris. Yeah. So, yeah. hubris yeah. is an extreme and unreasonable feeling of confidence. It's an enormous ego that makes you eager for more. Yeah. And winning yeah. makes you fall into it. Yeah. <coughs> if winning yeah. makes you more prone to ego, that well, leads you to want you. more. Yes, please. You said you're a winner. Can you explain why? <laughs> what did you win? I, I yeah. win a war. I win a war against Caesar and then I was defeated. Yeah. 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 You win a gambling game. You want to take more money. Here, here. If you win a war for a territory, you want to take more territory. Here, and here. If here, actually here. you here. are flooding and actually it works, of course you want more! Here, here. Here, here. Here, here. Here. Did you take it all? Since all means everything, there should be nothing Same. left to want. As I said, there is. And it oh, yeah. never stops. No, thank you. Yeah, yeah. That answers yeah. the question that our history professors asked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you actually take it all? No, because here, hubris here. leads to the contrary. Yeah, yeah. For example, yeah, yeah. I wanted to reconquer the gold from the Roman Empire. At the Battle of Jericho, I at the Battle of Jericho. Oh, sorry. I won against the, the, the biggest army. Yeah. Yeah. Julius Caesar yeah. won. Yes, please. Can you explain the difference between a winner and the winner? The winner, winner is the winner, winner of the game. A winner is a winner in everything. <laughs> then I thought I could reconquer more territory. Winning makes me so irrationally confident. But then reality hit me back. Here, and here. at Alicia, I was defeated and then executed. This story leads me to my second point. You breeze makes you think that you can take it all, but realistically, you cannot. Yeah. 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 Makes you think that everything is within your reach, that you are unstoppable, that you are entitled to taking it all, but that is not possible. Yeah. 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 My irrational confidence, my hubris made me think I could have taken all the gold territory back. No, thank you. Not from the biggest empire in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Today's victory could be tomorrow's defeat. No, thank you. As Edith Piaf will yeah. tell you in chapter 4. Yeah. In other words, when this irrational and disproportional hubris controls you, reality is bound to come and say, Nah, man. Yeah. You, yeah. Know. Yeah. you take your slap, and yeah. if this government yeah. is still advocating for this motion, it means that it yeah. didn't yeah. take its slap yet. Yeah. Yeah. So, dear government, do you, do you prefer to take it here or here? Yeah. 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 Now, yeah. Let's turn the page and welcome Joan of Arc. She's yeah. burning to explain that winning implies too many circumstances to really take it at all. Yeah. 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 I explained that you risk provoked by winning 
proves that you cannot take it all because one, you will always want more. And yeah. second, yeah. Here. Here. Yeah. Yeah. you cannot. Yeah. Yeah. If that interested you, you can always revisit your first chapter of your history books and meet the hardest version of the in your region. Yeah. 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 Don't take it all, but take it easy. Please reject this motion. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for your speech. I now call upon uh, third speaker, Mama Maria. <laughs> Olympics in Calgary or the Russia Rocket? Here, here. Yeah. 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 I'll remember the one who won. Oh, sure. 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 And 
so, the winner thus takes all that was at stake during the conflict. The hope, the glory, the dignity and the recognition. They get to be the positive example. Here, for instance, the upper class may be considered as the winner of contests between classes sure. and thus the upper class will hold all the positive adjectives, unfortunately. Point they are seen, no is? thank you, as better people or with more merits only because of the norm that was set. Here, 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 here. Now, since the winner took all material things, like Rob said, and we've just altogether established that the winner takes the glory, dignity, recognition, <coughs> what is there left to take? Give it here! Well, actually, Dang. nothing. No, thank you. The winner took it all. This leads me to my second point. There is simply nothing immaterial left for the winner to take. They took it all. Here, here. I mean, let's humor ourselves. I like humoring myself when I'm in jail and have Shame. nothing to do. <laughs> One might argue that the loser gets to keep the learnings of the defeat. Huh? That would be cute, right? But actually, that's not true. Sure, yeah, yeah. I've never learned anything from my defeats that wasn't within me in the first place. Yeah, yeah. Because my abilities of playing here at Monopoly were never at stake in the game. What there is to learn is not to be taken, it is already within ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For instance, according to sports psychologists, visualization is used in, for, is used by athletes and Shame. Olympic champions yes, Shame. Um, to actually stimulate the same brain region as they do when they physically perform the same action. Shame. So that knowledge was already within their cells. You learned something that was already in you. You took it all because something that the loser already knew was not at stake yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I have shown that the winner takes all immaterial things too and thus the winner to takes it all! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we add insult to injury and will show you that the winner takes all things in the long term. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We need to so the monopoly on, on taking members of the jury, please adopt this motion. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Madam Speaker for the speech, and I call upon uh, Longin for her speech. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honorable Chairman, at this point, I don't even know what makes me hotter. The fire? Are you? Shame! Shame. Shame. Time Keeper, are you? Saint Michael? Because you're like stuck into my head. <laughs> Wise jury, you are just like history. Without you, we would just repeat the same mistakes. Here, here. Damn, dear government, are you a fire alarm? Because you're loud and repetitive. Here, here. Dear physician, a hundred years is pretty long for a war. Let's win this one in six years. Here, here. <laughs> Wonderful audience. Be careful. After this class, you might very well end up heroin addicts. Yeah. 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 Hey, is everybody on fire tonight? Yeah. 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 Otherwise, let me show you how I ended up on fire. Please, open your book, chapter 2, Sacrifices. Yeah. Yeah. Try being born in a region no one knows about, like Les Vosges, and in a country <laughs> where women had all the rights they could dream of. The right to shut them out, to stay in the kitchen, to take care of the household. Ah, the good old days. Yeah. I didn't even have time to enjoy it. Then came the voices in my head, the war, and I ended up roasted like a chicken who didn't even have the chance to enjoy the pleasure yeah. of the flesh. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you guessed it, standing in front of you, the most famous virgin in history. La Pucelle d'Orléans or John of Arc. Yeah. Yeah. Most famous as a certain Mary <coughs> Stonebaker. <laughs> you know what? If I burn, this government's arguments are burning with me. Please, in yeah. case okay, so your closest fire exists because it's about to get lit. Here, yeah. here. Thank 
you, dear Maria. Apparently, we definitely came to see you play, but not to see you win. Here, here! Yeah. This motion is not much about winning anyway, so... Shame. Dear Shame. Benjamin, you cannot be the only one to sing ABBA tonight. Let me try it. The winner takes it all! Yeah. 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 Take! Something's wrong. No, no, no. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't rhyme. So, uh, dear <laughs> government, what is the first thing teacher says when you start an essay? Read the subject. Here! Yeah. 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 The subject yeah. is this house believe the winner takes it all. Point. Not all that is at stake. Here! Yeah. 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 You cannot restrain the definition b just because it's easier for you to defend. Again, it's not the house believe the winner wants it all. Yeah. 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 Not material things. As I said, when you win a monopoly, you don't take all the money from the game. Yeah. When you win the gold medal, you don't take the silver and the bronze wine. Yeah. 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 No, thank you. <laughs> when you win an election, do you take the love and agreement of every citizen? Here, yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. The winner might wants more and more, as Bertrand said, it doesn't mean he can take it all. Here, here, here. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, so, what's the difference between winning and a compromise if the winner doesn't take anything? Yeah. No, yeah. I, mean, I never said the winner doesn't take oh. anything, I said he doesn't take it all. Here! Yeah. 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 Versailles rhetoric, the one you'll never see without like Google yeah. love. Yeah. 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 That winning leads to hubris and vanity, and so an irrational feeling of wanting more and more. Yeah. Yeah. information? Nothing. For my part, I will show you how impossible it is for a winner to take it all when winning implies so many sacrifices in two points. Yeah. Yeah. Firstly, the sacrifices you make in order to win, and secondly, those you make after winning. Yeah. 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 Once again, you mentioned ABBA. Could you explain how a song about divorce could mean all as in all in the universe? So in, yeah. Yeah. in a divorce there is a winner? Really? On to my first point, the sacrifices in order to win. If winning was easy, it would be worthless. What makes winning so hard and rewarding is that it implies Sacrifice. Here, here. Yeah. Back then, I sacrificed all the animalistic temptations I had. Yeah. I fought against human nature. Here, here. Yeah. And I won, since I never gave in. Shame. So what did I win? I died a virgin, and now I'm just an addition to the couldn't hit that club led by Mother Teresa. Yeah. 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 Did I ever take that back? Of course not, because winning is about sacrifice. Here, yeah. yeah. Any debaters of the FDA knows that to win the tournament, we have to say goodbye to our social life and spend hours yeah. 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 on the beaches. Will we ever get our missed hours of sleep back? Yeah. 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 Dark circles under my eyes wish they could. Yeah. 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 The thing is, the winner cannot take it all, as he certainly <laughs> cannot. Oh, thank you. Take back everything he has lost in here, order to here. win. And if you think it gets better once you have actually won, well, 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 well. You guess what? It doesn't. Yeah. Which brings me to my second point, the sacrifices after winning. You can imagine how thrilled I was after my victory. France had won the battle. I was the winner! Shame. It lasted for two minutes, and even for a virgin, this is short. Here! Yeah. Yeah. I was captured, sold, and roasted alive in public. But let's take another example. Imagine a woman who gets a high-ranking job in a big company. Out of 100 people, the employer chose her. She definitely won. She can take the job, the glory that comes with, and the money. Here, here, here. But can she really take it all? Here, here. A high-ranking job means more work. More work means less time to spend with her family. So okay. she can take the job. But she cannot take time for her loved ones anymore. Shame. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. she cannot take it all. Here she has yeah. made choices and thus sacrifices. Here she yeah. 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 The truth is that there is always an element of loss in winning. Yeah. 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 What is a winner? A burning question that will be answered by Edith Piaf. Here, here. Yeah. 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 Prove yeah. to you that after winning, you don't see that it always anymore. Here, yeah. 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 Dear Jory, dear Keenan, I hope you've <laughs> taken notes of today's lesson. 
The winner takes it all is just the pretty lyrics of a pretty song. Here, here. But in reality, the winner can take some, but definitely not take it all. Yeah. Don't take it all. Take it easy. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Jeanne, for your speech. I now call upon Luca for the government. I would like to thank you all this evening for making this electric game possible. Dear members of the jury, you have the power to decide tonight who will take it all between us, <laughs> the early players. Allow us to greet you respectfully. Your Excellencies, dear Chairman, dear Bell Person, you are like our Game Masters tonight, preventing debaters from breaking the rules, so thank you, I guess. <laughs> dear Government, it's once again a pleasure to play with you. On behalf of all the players here tonight, I say we are honored and eager to be here. To have a good time, to bond with each other, but mostly to win yeah, yeah, and to take yeah, everything yeah. from our opponents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also want to greet the opposition. They clearly misunderstood when we say tonight yeah. is board night. Yeah, yeah. History class, come. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dear audience, good evening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My friends, when it comes to board games, I'm usually up to no good. So. When I heard the opposition's arguments, I knew instantly that they were made up by con artists. Yes, yes. 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 John of Arc, you, you lost it all when you burned down. Here. There was nothing left of you. You were as crazy as they sell. Shame. All of you, by the way. Shame. You horny con artists. Yes. 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 Using all, literally, what is that? You can't debate when the other team has bad faith. Yeah. We can't just expand the subject because it's easier to fool the jury. Yeah. And there is a difference between taking and taking back. So there's no taking in sacrifices. Yeah. You should read the subject. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so let me take it all from here. Yeah. It's my turn to play. Oh, this card right here, right here. Just said I won $10,000. They have no idea I wrote it myself. Rose thinks she will win, but she surely didn't expect that. I will win again. I will take it all again. Because taking it all is what the winner does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me show you why. First, it's a natural consequence. No, thank you. That has existed since the dawn of time. And second, the winners throughout history get to rewrite it as they see fit. Yeah, 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 yeah. To begin with, you should know how I play. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. At the Olympics, does the winner only take gold or silver and bronze too? Only gold. Even when I play Monopoly with my family, with my six-year-old nephew, I can't help it. I beat them hard. I made the little, I made the little guy cry once. What a loser! I'm the winner, and sometimes, sometimes it's a burden. I take you. Know, I need to win, you know. No because of addiction, as was explained, but also because I know the winner takes it all from the others, and I don't want to end up like Maria, a completely broken mind oppressed by the winner's norm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Therefore, to take it all, I do all it takes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people would call it cheating, I call it winning. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't cross lines, I bend the rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You seem to be judging me. But doing whatever it takes to win is in all nature, whether you like it or not. Yeah. All of you did it the minute you could see. No, thank you. As Mr. Monopoly said, when you won the race and took it all from the other sperm cells, bravo, you ruthless winners! Yeah. The very process of a win, biologically speaking, implies that you take it all from another group. The winners of the biological competition, the natural selection, pass down their genetic code, and only theirs. Yeah. In the end, the group with the best characteristics prevails. Because they survive the best wins it all, and the loser can suck it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So there is no loser who has marked history for you? No, I don't think so. Only Shame. winners yeah. mark history because they are the one who gets to write it. Yeah. Yeah. That's just the way it is. The Neanderthals used to be human just like us, but Homo sapiens were way more capable to deal with the 
uh, with the hardships of prehistoric times. So here Shame. we are as the descendants of winners who took it all. Hey, hey. Hey. And it's in our genes to always seek a total victory. Lions act the same way. When the dominant male changes, each young cub is killed heartlessly. No, thank you. Heartlessly by the new leader of the truth. Because winning is about sending a strong signal that should last over time. Here, here. I'm sure that my future children will beat you at Monopoly and you at debating. This is why, secondly, victories are instrumentalized in history. The winner gets to tell the story and rewrite it so as to look good in it. It's just like resistentialism. As France won the war with the Allies, everyone has this feeling that French people were all fierce resistance fighters back then. That's not true. <laughs> all that remains is that history has treated France as one of the winners ever since. So France took it all afterwards. <laughs> A part of Berlin, a veto right in the UN Council, and the glory of being on the victorious side. Yeah. When you win, you leave your mark in history. And the main result is... No, thank you. The winner perpetuates their views, their systems, so nothing changes, and they can keep on winning, and they can keep on taking it all. Yeah. It's in this period that I might have slightly rewritten the Monopoly rules. Yeah. To always give me a head start when I play with my family. Yeah. I can't stop winning. Yeah. Oh, come on, it's not... Cheating, if it's written in the instructions, yeah. 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 this continuous game allows the winner to impose their rules and maintain their position as the winner. Yeah. The, winner the winner takes the memories of everyone. Yeah. The winner yeah. takes yeah. control of <laughs> Dear Chairman, you are the very reason I see La Vie en Rose. Yeah. Yeah. Besides, timekeeper, when I hear you, I feel just fine. No, I regret nothing <laughs> except you and your, your New York Times are not mine. Yeah. Yeah. Honorable members of the jury, I can't have it all. But you will all have me. Yeah. No matter who wins tonight, with you, I will agree. Yeah. My dear partners in the opposition, yeah. with class and dedication, we will teach Keenan a lesson yeah. so that he surpasses his teacher expectation. Yeah. Yeah. Dear government, I have the voice of an angel. If you can make me sing. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely audience, thank you for having the patience. For I arrive quite late in this debate. But rest assured, for I always deliver. <laughs> Open your books, chapter 3. Consequences. <laughs> Distinguished students, welcome. Before you standing a musical legend with a heavenly voice. The very essence of the French soul. L'amour, Milord, and all that. The one and only. Egypt Piaf. Yeah. And I obviously was the winner, but I certainly didn't take it all. Yeah. Yeah. Dear government, warning, you won't be seeing La Vie Rose after my rebuttal. Yeah. Yeah. Dear government, you're thankfully not a governing you're not governing a state, because it would be a dictatorship. Yeah. Yeah. You indeed Oh, a, third, a fourth speaker, you said you can't debate with someone who has bad faith. You yeah, indeed yeah. cannot. We're so over you guys trying to defend the wrong motion. Yeah. <laughs> Your second speaker called us innocent, but really, you We're winners! You guys are losers! Narrative is really cute and so innocent. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and you said we don't remember the losers? We remember OHSS. We remember No, thank you. Right before me, this smoking hot John of Arc exposed the sacrifices one makes before and after winning. The next five minutes, I will expose the consequences of winning in two points. First, we'll discuss what a winner, what a winner actually gains, and secondly. I'll show you how today's victory could be tomorrow's defeat. Here, here, here. So, on to my first point, 
your prime minister of the government defined the winner as someone who out, out, per, overperforms everyone else. Yes. <coughs> but is it? Let's take my very own industry. Music! <laughs> is the winner the one that stops the charts? Or is it the one with a breathtaking voice? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's that really good performer with sold out tours in seconds. How can one define a winner if we cannot define a standard reward Point a winner me. gets? Yes. Yes, you said you were obviously a winner. How so? Here, here. I gained international recognition for my beautiful voice. Everybody knows me around the world. I am Egypt Piaf. Come yeah. on. Yeah. How can one define a winner if we cannot define the standard reward a winner gets? Yeah. Because yeah. if by take zero you mean the first place, the glory, the most fans, the recognition, yeah. one can never, ever take it all out to themselves. Yeah. 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 A competition, a debate, a lottery, a tournament has infinite parameters that we can never control. Yeah. 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 Self-contained, yeah, and here. therefore we can never really predict what the winner does or doesn't get. Yeah. 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 You can take though. It's my history chapter, page sixty-nine. Yeah. 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 To my second point, today's victory could be tomorrow's defeat. Look at our dear Versailles yeah, yeah. He won. He had la gueule, yeah. and then. If you're defeated, how are you a winner in the context of the defeat? Here, here, here. You're a loser, but you won before, but still, when you lose, the very moment you lose, you never take it off. Here, 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 Victory and success puts this huge pressure on you. From the very moment one achieves that win, you'll not only have to live up to that win, but only to also do better, push harder, here, here. Hey. do more and more. And it may sound empowering, but I have two words to illustrate how it really ends. Burn out. Yeah. Yeah. Just like Jeanne d'Arc. Yeah. Just like me. You might remember me as the girl who fought through poverty, who gained international recognition for her voice. But did you see what was going on behind the scenes? Because for every record I put out there, it was another drug in my system, another abuse from my manager, another drink down my throat. And when I thought I had it all, the money, the success, the recognition, the love of my life, was ripped away from me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was nothing I could have done to prevent that. I might be a winner, but I cannot take it all. Yeah. 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 And ensure that I keep it all yeah. forever. Yeah. 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 Winning once doesn't mean you'll, be, you'll keep winning. And then you find yourself in an infinite loop of stress, disappointment, imposter syndrome, and so yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. This government has given us many lovely exceptions. Monopoly, I guess, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. The opposition are here to reinstate the truth. Here, here. Yeah, you're here. The majority of winners never take it off. Yeah. Yeah. Not even in Monopoly. Hey, 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 hey. And now, to close this debate, we will have the honor to receive our little big boy, Kinan. Yeah. 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 This is the great education he gets from his hot teacher, yeah. Yeah. historical figures. Yeah. 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 Discipline government. His whip. To conclude, dear friends, I am the very proof that the winner never takes it all. So please remember, don't take it all, but take it. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for your speech that I've got going the whip from the government and it's on. <laughs> Dear members of the jury, here, here. thank you for being here. As I told you, you know, I'm the banker. 
I always have some bills in my pockets for generous and impartial people like you. <laughs> Charming chairman, thank you for hosting this debate. It is not a job to judge if the winner will take it all, so please, let me have a piece of your heart. Yeah. 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 Lovely bell, women. Your bell is what debaters fight against. Thanks. However, you always win. By taking it all. Shame. Our only weapon, sound. Yeah. 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 Soft players from the opposition, I've been surprised how engaged you were for a team that is satisfied by losing. Shame. Yeah. 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 However, it has been a true pleasure to debate against you. Yeah. 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 My fellow teammates, as always, it's an honor to be with you. Here. Here. Family, fantastic audience, thank you for coming. Especially people from the inside, we know what a great effort it is. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Yeah. I'm new here. Before I became a monopoly banker, I was a blackjack dealer back in Monaco. We had the coat. Always winning. But one day, Lucas, that rat, he came to my table and he asked me to explain the rules of blackjack. So I told him, I would hit on anything 16 and under. He takes me, she blackmailed me, and I lost it all. Here, here. Then I met this old friend, Mr. Monopoly. Here, here. Glad you that what that old white mustache and replaced it with even whiter hair. <laughs> Forget creepy, Mr. Monopoly, and welcome fancy, Mr. Monopoly. By the way, FDA, this is not a prop. <laughs> he told me I'm offering you a job somewhere with empty hotels, community chest, we can only pay by cash, and you can end up in prison just by walking down the streets. Great, I'm going to North Korea, but no, it was Monopoly. The place where kids learn the principle of taxis, boredom, family breakdown, frozen time, and despair. The place where you, the party usually never ends, except whenever someone takes it off. Yeah, yeah. Look at Maria, she ain't got tears left to cry. Yeah, yeah. So as we say, new place, new me. And the new me is here to teach. Oh, Sorry, King, sir. No, thank you. Monopoly may be just a game, but the point is to understand that when it comes to winning, it's either you eat it all, or you will be the meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have two points of clash. The first is about who the winner is. Professor Josephine yeah, and Pierre Louis, oh, the whole team. I've taken notes. How cute is it from a history teacher not to understand that emotion has more sophisticated meaning than just taking oh, everything in the world? It's not that visual. Hopefully, better history teacher understood that when Martin Luther King said, I had a dream, it was about society, not just about slavery. So, yes, Kina, this motion implies a context. Take everything at stake, turn on that brain. Yes. If there is a stake, well, Marianne Rose, we take it, prove that we take it. If there are no stakes, well, we can take it. It's like multiplying by zero. You can take it. Yeah. Now, just a quick thing on your universal definition of a winner. Oh, 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 look at this. It's the winner, not the winner. So let's hear. Yeah. Who's arguing about the wrong motion now? Yeah. Like I said, the winner is defined by the reward. Well, by the definition, the winner takes the reward. Here it is. On that point, sir, yes, please. If a winner takes a, re a reward, did yeah, did he take it off? Uh, yes, that by definition. Yeah. 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 My second point of clash is about what a winner does. Sweet Versailles Torix, oh, quite surprised to see one of the greatest losers of all time coming to tell us about victory. Yeah. Yeah. The point is that if you that you want more, if you want more, it is because you didn't take it all. Yeah. Whoa! Last night I drank a whole bottle of water. This morning, I was thirsty again. That's called biology. Yay! And it's the same thing with winning. It is taking it all that gives you the dopamine shot that makes you want to win again. Yeah. That's what Rose proves. So as you said, Pierre, it gives you confidence. But isn't it gives you confidence that helps you win? No, thank you. The next round. See, the winner even takes the advantage on his next opponent. That's taking it all. Yeah. Blanche, Josephine, oh, all the girls. So many sex jokes. Yeah. Yeah. This is frustrated and horny. Yeah. Do you want to win or do you want to, you want to win or do you want to take it all? Yeah. You talked about sacrifices to win. Sure sacrifices. And because it's history class, let's take the example of war. When you start a war, you know that you will make sacrifices. That people will die. It's a short thing. No, thank you. It's not something that is gamble, not something to take. It's a given thing. Yeah, yeah, the question yeah, yeah. is who will own the land after the war, and that's the winner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, right here, we have players in the middle of a long game. It seems to be clear and clear who will win at the end. <coughs> but everyone keeps going. 
just like we all would, because they know that taking it all is what defines the winner. Yeah. Yeah. Material yeah. games, yeah. immaterial yeah. games, yeah. and no, thank you. And history remains. Yeah. Yeah. First rose. She showed that when you win, you get to take everything at stake, and that gives you the addiction which makes you always take it all. Yeah. 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 And Maria, she proved that the winner sets the positive norm for everyone, and thus also takes all the material things that were on the table. So the loser can only learn what is already within them. No. <laughs> Finally, Lucas, he explained that nature is built in such a way that winners will eventually erase all the others, and even get to rewrite their own history. That's why we say the winner takes it all. Shame. Shame. Ladies and gentlemen, please follow me to end this debate. Think about that one game where something was at stake. If there are stakes... Point of information. Yes, please. Is there possible to take everything 100% one in one time? Yes. If there are stakes, there is a will. If there is a will, it has no breaks. It is about making a... Victory isn't only a label. It's about making a bet with your enemy. Then take everything on the table. It's about carving your prize in memory. What defines the player is how much they give on the field. But what defines the winner is how empty the field is when they succeed. Yeah. Give it all to take it all, this is what we believe. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, and dear opposition, we both know it. And this is where our fight has been so fierce. Yeah. It takes everything to win, and everything is what the winner takes. Yeah. So because, the wi because winning gives the monopoly on taking, please accept the motion. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful chairman, we meet again. You're still as eloquent as you are elegant. Punctual yeah. timekeeper, this dissertation is sublime. Although I'm afraid I will run out of ink before I run out of time. Yeah. Wise jury, your fairness only equals your greatness. Yeah. Dear government, it was a pleasure. Tonight we made this debate a lot better. Yeah. Dear friends from Central, thank you so much for hosting. Yeah. Yeah. Gorgeous opposition, yeah. without a doubt. This is about you, I want to learn more. Yeah. Yeah. Numerous audience, pay attention. Class is in session. Yeah. Hi, I'm Keenan. I'm the kind of learner that requires my teacher's full attention. Yeah, yeah, Otherwise, yeah, yeah. I can't escape weekly detention. Yeah. I do have a thing for history, but this is not the main reason why I want to be Josephine's two yeah. yeah. Just take a look at her, my gorgeous yeah. history teacher. Yeah. I'm trying to win her over. But she won't let me take her. Yeah, yeah, take yeah. her out to dinner. Yeah. Yeah. During this week's lesson, she gave me this odd question, on which I made a six-minute dissertation. Yeah, yeah. Which will be split into two questions. Firstly, we will look through history and through my lesson, and I will bring out the arguments of the opposition. Yeah, yeah. And secondly, I will give this imprudent government their painful punishment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Dissertation, Josephine, my beautiful history teacher, yeah. define the core of this motion and explain that you cannot always win everything. Yeah. 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 Then we open the book to chapter one. Hubris, where Vercingetorix and his yeah. massive goal explain that yeah. hubris yeah. is a winner to reach for more, proving that even essentially you can never have it all. Yeah. Yeah. After that, we flip to chapter two. Sacrifices, where Joan, the virgin yeah. of Arc, Explain that a winner always sacrifices something either before or after winning. Yeah. Yeah. Something you can essentially never take back. Yeah. And finally, when the chapter 3 Wait. consequences, yeah. thank you, where Edith Piaf questioned yeah. victory at his superficial rewards, as well as how two days to two days victory could be tomorrow's defeat. Yeah. 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 Now that the arguments of the opposition are fresh in your mind, dear jury, let's close the history books. Brace yourself, dear government, because yeah. I will leave you shook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, thank you.
Oh. There are two questions in this debate. The first one being on the definition of all, once here, here. more. And the second one being on winning everything. Here, here. So onto the first clash point on the definition of all. Here, here. 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 Dear government, for someone who wants it all, it seems that you only took part of a definition. Here, here. Dear government, to be honest, I am left a bit confused. Dear Monopoly man, in this motion, on the board behind me it's written, this house believes the winner takes it all. Yeah, yeah. Not about taking all that is at stake. Yeah. 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 That part? <coughs> yes, please. What do you take if you don't take what is at stake? I mean, you take what's at stake, not all. Yeah. 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 Okay, so, this motion, is about not doing it at Julius Caesar or Napoleon. Yeah. This motion is about not stopping in Vienna. No, thank you. Not stopping in Berlin, yeah. but going all the way to Moscow. Here, here. This motion is about making it to Moscow, actually. Taking everything. Yeah. Not just what suits your framework, dear government. Yeah. Yeah. Take every point available on your test. Get 20 out of 20 every time. Yes, please. What does giving something up willingly, sacrifice, has to do with taking? Here, here, here. Because you have to sacrifice something to win and to take that prize. Thank you. Here, here. Here, here. Here, here. The whole here, thing here. about winning the material things. No, thank you. That's funny. When you couldn't tell us who won against a bunch of Jamaican men on the slider. Here, here. Here, here. Here, here. So, this team, whether it is the opposition, or whether it is the Russell Rocket took a place in your heart, even here, though here. they lost. Something yeah. that the winner couldn't do. Here, here. 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 Second clash points on winning everything. Just because they lost their government, okay, winning is cool. Whatever. This this is not what this motion is about. Here, here. Here. Why do you look Why do you look down on the losers? They're good people, here, here. Here, here. just as much as the winners. They seem to didn't work hard enough to get the gold medal. Who has ever finished a Monopoly game? To go make fets. In the end, dear government, this motion was never about the benefits of winning, but rather, can you take it all? Because this year in the debating world, it seems that you didn't take it all. So, tell us what you did after you played your, your playoff against Assas, because we really want to know. You call us horny, crazy, and we are a bad faith? Yeah. Is it here? Or for a winner, did you just lose your cool? Yeah. 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 Nothing. Dear Alexandre, the winner takes the reward. Yeah. So he takes the reward. Here, yeah. here. Not all. Yeah. 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 Dear Whip, next time please try and attack us and our arguments instead of our peer or a person. Yeah. 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 My brain is turned on. <laughs> but it seems that you forgot to turn on your computer screen when you needed to look at the definition. <laughs> so, your government taking it all makes you insatiable, creating a behavior that is in no way sustainable. Yeah, yeah. This notion is in no way appreciable. Yeah. All it is, yeah. in reality, is a return to the law of the jungle, yeah. where the winner takes it all and the loser has to fall. Yeah. The winner takes it all, but does he really? Doesn't it seem a bit silly? Yeah. Yeah. It's a utopia where you believe you deserve all five criteria. Yeah. 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 Let's follow the government's logic. You will see, it's rather comic. Yeah. Once the verdict is over, does the winner also get the best speaker? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there is a reason why you can't have your cake and eat it too. Yeah. Dear jury, tonight, this is what the opposition has shown you. So, yeah. don't take it all, take it easy. Please reject this motion. Thank you. Thank you again for your speech and uh, congratulations to both teams for this debate. And now